Scapulothoracic dissociation. Here is the anatomy. You can see the shoulder joint or the glenohumeral joint. Here is the scapulothoracic joint where the problem of the dissociation occurs. The scapulothoracic dissociation is a rare entity that consists of disruption of the scapulothoracic articulation. It is a traumatic lateral displacement of the scapula with intact skin. It is described as a closed traumatic four-quarter amputation. It is a serious injury. The skin around the shoulder area is bruised but intact. There will be closed avulsion of the scapula with an associated clavicle fracture, a sternoclavicular disruption, or a chromioclavicular joint separation. Clavicle fracture is the most common associated injury. This entity can be associated with upper extremity fractures, such as fractures of the scapula, clavicle, and humerus. Most often, there is varying degrees of injury to the brachial plexus and the subclavian artery, resulting in a flail pulseless upper extremity. The most important initial step is to rule out vascular injury, which is common in this situation. You may find reduced pulses or no pulses in the upper extremity. The subclavian artery is most commonly injured. Yet, brachial, brachial index, you do arteriography and immediate repair. And geography should be performed to diagnose the vascular injury. Neurological injury is up to 90%. The neurologic injury determines the functional outcome for the patient. 50% flare arm. The return of any neurologic function is unlikely. 20% amputation. 10% death. This injury can be missed. The chest x-ray will show significant lateral displacement of the scapula. If you see a distracted clavicle in a chest x-ray, be concerned. And if you see more than one centimeter displacement of the medial edge of the scapula from the spinous process compared to the other side, be concerned. Here you can see a scapulothoracic dissociation with a distracted clavicle fracture. Treatment. Start the treatment with advanced trauma life support, the airway, breathing, circulation. Angiography and repair of the artery, if needed. Do open reduction internal fixation of the clavicle. If vascular repair is indicated. If a patient with a scapulothoracic dissociation has humeral shaft fracture, the treatment is not a brace. Functional brace of the humerus will not work in a patient with a brachial plexus injury. Early above elbow amputation and shoulder fusion based on the degree of neurovascular and scapular muscle damage. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.